three, two, one. Okay, that's like so weird. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a little bit, I already know. I'm gonna try really hard on the end not to explain everything like I always do and then everyone skips it over because they're like, Ellie, we don't care. Just know that I've been very busy with school. Um, but I really, really miss talking about books. So here I am about to talk about the books that I read this past month in September. So it's October 4th. What? It's the 5th. Kidding. It's October 5th. I don't know how I just did that. Um, but I want to talk about the books that I read in September. I've had a goal to read a book a week. So there's one, two, three, four, five books. One of them was the last week of August and the rest was in September. So that's about right. So there's like four weeks in a month. So it's about right. I'm also currently reading something right now, so hopefully I'll be able to do one for October as well. But my camera battery like doesn't really have a lot, so I'm gonna try to get through this, but not just like get through this and like skid by. I also like really wanted to film this video. The longest book, wait, how do I explain this? The one that I read longest ago, <laughs> the last week of August is, uh, I was very anticipating what am I even saying? Like, I don't know how to like speak English today. I was just really looking forward to this one. It wasn't the most anticipated. <laughs> it's like the second most. This was the only one left by Riley Sager. Sager, we don't, Ali doesn't know what what his last name is pronounced like. Dude, I can't talk. I don't know like what's, what's happening with me guys. But basically this book is about uh, this caregiver who goes to care for this elderly woman named Lenora Hope. There's like a chant that kids at school would say basically that she murdered her family and she's the only one left and that she denies killing her family and all that good stuff so she has to go take care of this Lenora and she basically goes there to this house like on a cliff that's all alone uh, kind of in the middle of nowhere and she figures out kind of what has been happening um, with Lenora Hope and what happened in the past. It's historical, historical fiction, mystery. Um, it actually sets place in 1983 in the murders of the, like, Lenora Hope murder. Um, was in 1929. So it is a little bit historical, but it doesn't really feel like it. It's just kind of like the lack of, like, they don't like text each other on cell phones and stuff like that. It's very like present in the moment, but I really liked it. This was a four. <laughs> He's my favorite thriller author. I just, it didn't hit like the last time I lied or um, Home Before Dark. Those are definitely my favorite Riley Sager novels. Sager, <laughs> I'm sorry guys. <laughs> Maybe you're like, Allie, it's really easy to pronounce, but I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'm doing my best. It's really, really, really a fun novel. It's good. There's like three plot twists in here. One of them I was able to figure out, um, but that doesn't mean that like you will, and it also doesn't mean I'm smart. I just like, if I were, like I always like say like, oh, if I were writing this, like what would I want to surprise them with? And then that's how I figured out what the plot, one of the plot twists was. But like shortly after that plot twist, there was like another plot twist that I didn't see coming. So it like didn't take away from it. And actually the only thriller out of all these, which is really weird because I'm a thriller girly, but I've been kind of drifting. So fun times. The next one was the one that I read, I believe the first week of September. Hang on, I gotta let, let Coda inside my room. Okay, Coda is now in the back. So <laughs> if I shift around or anything, it's because he's barking. I have to fix the, whatever the issue is. So this was the first week. Oh my gosh, my battery's flashing. This was the first week of September, and this was the most anticipated book that I had for the year. And it was The Brothers Hawthorne. So in order for me to read this, I went back and read all the Inheritance Games series. The first one, The Inheritance Games, The Hawthorne Legacy, and The Final Gambit. You don't have to do that. I just did it because The Inheritance Games is my favorite series ever. Nothing has ever topped it. So in case you're wondering, Ellie, what's your favorite series? It's the Inheritance Game series. <laughs> I just wanted to go back and reread it. So technically I read like eight books this past month, but that was because I read, like I reread, and I'm not gonna go back and re-rate those. Um, 
this was very very good it was rated a 4.25 it wasn't my favorite of the like the inheritance games this isn't like in the series it's a standalone but it like builds off of relationships um and characters in the series it's really fun my only complaint with this is that like i would have really loved to see the other brothers um nash and xander their um point of views because in this book instead of avery's point of view it's uh grayson and jameson and we get like two different subplots kind of going on um grayson basically is learning about his stepsisters and they're trying to uncover what happened to their dad which happened in the last novel but you get it filled in for you in here if you didn't read the final gambit and then jameson uh his dad reaches out to him um which if you don't know he doesn't like have a relationship with his dad and he never really knew him growing up like he like just kind of discovered his dad recently um and he reaches out to him and wants him to do this like underground this thing called the devil's mercy which is like a gambling kind of it's really hard to explain um but his dad wants him to do it and jameson if you know him can never turn down a challenge so he does it this is a 4.25 so fun i love jennifer lynn barnes um i can't wait for the grandest game to come out i feel like that one's gonna be really good the next two i'm gonna kind of like do these at once um, I read the first two books in the Once Upon a Broken Heart series. So we have Once Upon a Broken Heart and then The Ballad of Never After. Um, this was like a surprising, this was a 4.5 star, I believe. And this I rated a five star. Um, this one was like really sad at the end, but it was so, so good. So good, like so pleasantly surprised. I was not expecting this to be a highly rated book. Um, or books <laughs> um I didn't even know if I was gonna end up reading this one but I just wanted to give this a shot fantasy is not my favorite genre but I've been trying to get into it more and I've kind of been enjoying Stephanie Garber a lot I'm reading the Caraval trilogy right now and I really like it too so I think I just like this author like I think she just does a really good job um making it feel more like a fairy tale than a whole fantasy world with all these politics that you have to try to like piece together because I don't know if I really enjoy that. Um, but I'm gonna go back and read the Akatar series actually and see how that goes. I have them on the shelf over there if you can see. This is my bookshelf with all my like favorite books by the way. The Akatar series made it up there mainly because it's really pretty and I also really liked uh, Akamoth. It was so good. Um, so the whole series went up. I haven't read all the series though. I'm gonna go in and read it. and his name is Jax, and she basically gets a, her wish is to stop the wedding of the love of her life, um, because he, she believes, is under a spell and is about to marry her stepsister, and she does not want to let this happen. So she does, but of course, like, things don't go as planned when you make a deal with the Prince of Hearts, who is a fate, uh, who, like, is described as immortal, but, like, it's still kind of unclear, <laughs> to me if they're immortal or not he, it says he's immortal but like in the book it kind of makes you believe otherwise um maybe i'm just stupid i don't know it's a really really cute book it took me like 200 pages to get into this first one i don't know why i think i was just like in a slump um but once i got into it it was so so cute and fun i love jacks and then this was my favorite which is the second the third book is coming out at the end of this month so i'm very excited for that i'll be getting it right away um but I really connected with the main character. She kind of like reminds me of myself, Loki. Um, and then Jax, the Prince of Hearts is his other name. I love him. I love him. He's like he, he's like one of those guys that like you're like, oh, I literally like hate you, but like I can't help but love you. You know what I mean? Um, and you just like want to see what happens between Evangeline and Jax and the whole bunch of things that they embark on. It's just super cute and fun. This was a 4.25. I just like sometimes don't memorize what I actually like write down for a book's rating and I'll just kind of like estimate to like what I think as I'm sitting here, which is my bad. But the last book that I read, which I like just finished this the other day, it's very random. It's uh, The Dead Romantics by Ashley Poston. Poston? I don't, I don't know how to say her last name either. <laughs> Um, <laughs> this is, this was cute, um, this was kind of like a romance, but like in very different circumstances, it's basically about this girl named Florence, and her and her dad both have the ability to see dead people, 
Um, basically, it follows this part of her life where something tragic has just happened in her family. She is a ghostwriter. I do this. If you read, you'll understand why I'm saying ghostwriter. Um, for a very famous author named Anne Nichols. And she goes to meet her editor and he's basically like, you gotta finish this manuscript by tomorrow. Where is it? And she's like panicking because she had her relationship kind of fail and she's a romance writer. So now she doesn't believe in love anymore and she doesn't know how to finish her manuscript. She's just kind of in a slump with writing it and doesn't know where to take it and kind of has just like lost hope. And this editor expects her to turn it in tomorrow. Um, and all of a sudden something very tragic happens in her family. Um, she's just having a rough, a rough time. She goes home and then sees the editor shows up on her porch as a ghost and is haunting her and not like in a haunt where it's like scary um it's actually a very funny and clever book but he's haunting her and she's figuring out why why is he haunting her why at this time um and basically it's just her second chance at a romance and trying to find romance if that sounds weird to you like her finding romance with a dead guy um Give it a shot because you might be surprised. I gave this a three star. I thought it was really cute. It just took me a really long time to get into it. And I think, and that's why I took it down. Like it also just like wasn't 100%. Like I didn't read it and I was like, oh my gosh, this is the, so like the best book ever. It was, it was good. Uh, it just wasn't like, it didn't like scream. Like I will remember this book always. I really did like the aspect of like the ghost. Um, I just thought it was fun. It's like something different. Like you don't see that. So that is what made it really cool, but yeah, it just took like a really long time for me to get into. And I also read this like the day after I finished my five star from this whole month. And so that just like, I think added to just the like, it's, it's a good book, but it's not up there for me. Um, but I still recommend this book a lot because a lot of people really, really love this. And I thought it was really cute. That is basically all for the whole video. My camera's 100% about to die. So I'm gonna try to do this outro. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I have some videos coming up, hopefully, fingers crossed. I don't wanna make empty promises, but like hopefully they'll be up soon um, at some point during this month um, or next, <laughs> we'll see. But it was really good to make a video again. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to stay tuned for the next video. And if you love books, please consider subscribing because I wanna talk more about books um, and it's really hard to find the audience. So, <laughs> all right. Love you guys. Peace out. Thank you.